Hey everyone, it's Riley and today I want to show you guys all the different journals that I'm going to be using in 2023. So normally YouTube only sees one of my journals and that is my main planning journal. That's definitely the journal that I use the most and that I decorate the most. And so you're going to continue seeing that one throughout 2023, but there are actually other journals that I use more behind the scenes that I might show more in 2023. I'm not totally sure yet, but I wanted to show you them to you guys here in this video. And, um, if you like them, you can find the links for all of them down in the description. A few of them are from my shop, um, which obviously I'm very excited for this new launch. Um, some of them are not from my shop. Those will be linked down below too. And um, yeah, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments how many different journals you use on a regular basis and what you use them for. Um, do you do the same things as me? Do you have new ideas that I can try? Let me know down in the comments and let's start looking at some journals. So the first journal in my lineup this year is this clay colored bullet journal from my shop. It's got this little airplane design in gold foil and it's made of, well, clay colored linen. It's got the two bookmarks, the elastic pen loop, elastic around it. There are 192 pages. There are 160 GSM stark white with the five millimeter dot grid. And so this is my main bullet journal for the year where I'll be doing all of my Everything that you see on my channel normally is in this bullet journal. So I have my monthly um, like title pages, tasks pages, calendars, all of my planning kind of stuff is going to happen in this journal. And this is the journal that I reach for the most often, like many times a day, because I'm constantly, you know, checking what tasks and events I have up later that day, crossing them off. Yeah, I touch this journal dozens of times every day. So this is my most needed and most used journal for the year. And um, this, like I said, is the one that you'll be seeing most often on my channel. Now, one thing that I'm changing about this journal this year is last year and every year before this, I used this only for my personal planning and not for like work. Like I would, I would write down the work tasks that I needed to do, but I wouldn't like, you know, plan out custom bullet journals and plan out future bullet journal themes and stuff in this journal. I always had just like one of these cheap little Dollarama bullet journals where I would do that, where I would practice um, future monthly theme ideas and um, kind of lay out my plan for a custom bullet journal. But since this one has 192 pages and normally I go through 160 pages every six months, I'm sure that I cannot make this last the whole year. Um, but I'm going to have too many pages to just do half a year. So I decided to do my work stuff in here as well. So now when I do take custom bullet journal orders, I will be planning those out in here, mapping out all my future themes in here. Um, so yeah, it's just taking on a little bit of extra um, stuff that I didn't do in here last year. And if you want to know about how I used my different journals last year, I will link that video um, right up here as well. The next journal on my lineup is one that I showed last year for sure. Um, this is probably, I mean, the other one I guess is my favorite journal that I use, but this one is going to be the one that I like keep for the longest and cherish the most. Um, you know, after this year and the next few years are done, this is my one line a day, five year memory book. So I have made a few one line a day journals. I have flip throughs for two of them up here on my channel. I'm going to link one of those here. And, um, I made some more for my mom and my sister for Christmas this year, but I haven't actually gotten a chance to film flip throughs. So hopefully those will be coming soon. Um, but yeah, so this is my one line a day journal and this one fits five years. So I'm going to just briefly show you. So there's a spot for every day of the year. So for example, January 16th, I started this in 2021. So I wrote something about January 16th. Then I wrote something on January 16th, 2022, 23, 24, and 2025. So every single year, you can just look back and see what you were doing the previous year, which I think is so neat. I've already used a whole one of these before. So this is my eighth year doing this kind of thing, which is crazy. But this is like my main um, memory keeping place. Now, obviously I don't write tons because it's just one line a day. I mean, it's, it's technically more than one line, um, but you don't write tons in here, but it's enough to at least kind of capture, um, yeah, just what's going on 
at different seasons of life. And of course I'll have my other journals linked, the ones that I designed, but I will have a link for this one too. I just got this one off Amazon. My previous one I got from Chapters. Um, but yeah, these are really awesome. I would highly recommend either making one for yourself following the video that I just linked or purchasing one if you want a nice place to keep your memories. Next up, I'm using one of my own undated planners that I designed in the vanilla color. So just like my clay journal, the cover design is the same. It's made of the same kind of fabric. It has all the same features, except the pages all have designs already on them that I drew. So again, these are going to be linked down in my description box. I love these. I'm so excited about them. This is like an undated planner. So there are monthly themes every month and um, you just have to cut and paste the name of the month into there. So I've got all the names of the month here at the back, or of course you can write it in yourself. And then you get to use it as like a coloring book, which is kind of therapeutic, but you can also use it for your planning. Or in my case, since I already do my planning, in a different journal. I'm going to be using this as more of a reflective journal and I'm not 100% sure what that will look like. I probably won't actually land on like something specific until February or March when I've had a chance to kind of play around with it and try a few different things. But um, my two main ideas are either to have like just a memory keeping journal and kind of like an extended version of this one, you know, like writing more about each day, drawing a little picture for the day or something like that. Um, so that's my first thought. My second and the one that I'm kind of leaning towards, but having trouble sort of like, I don't know, really capturing the essence of what I want. That idea is to use it as like a prayer journal um, and to record, you know, like where I'm reading in scripture, um, verses that stand out, prayer requests, all of that kind of stuff. So of course, if you're interested in a planner for yourself or for a friend, this is a great option. But even if you already have a planner, if you want a way to capture your memories just for one year instead of across five years, I think something like this is so perfect for that too, because in all the daily boxes, instead of just writing your plans, you can just as easily write down a quick thought for the day, something you're grateful for, something you did or enjoyed or a little prayer or something like that. So that's what I will be doing in this one. And again, this is the vanilla color. I'm using the clay color for my regular journal and um, the third color here is this moss um, undated planner which of course will also be down in the description box. Now the next journal that I'm using isn't really like a journal um, that much but I really just wanted to show it to you because it's so cute. I actually kept the packaging like the sort of belly band thing on because it was just adorable but even without that it's cute too. Um, this is my baby book for my son who was born last summer. Um, this is from Promptly and I'm going to have a link for that down below as well. So it's a complete childhood history from the womb to 18 years old which I think is so cool. So you start off obviously talking about your pregnancy and then for the first year of life there's a little like update page for each month but after so for example here and there's a bunch of different prompts and then just like a spot to write down thoughts feelings special moments um, so this is a great place to record milestones so for the first year there is quite a lot to do in here like every single month I do a little update on him but um, after the first year, it just goes by year instead of by month. So I'm really excited to use this and Promptly has so many cute colors. I chose yellow first. Yellow is my favorite color, um, but I love all their colors. So I will, my plan anyways, is to do one of these for all of my kids. Um, but right now, all I've got is one. So this is my baby book that I'll be returning to at least once a month throughout the year. So next, is something that I'm so unsure of. So last year I did a video of me setting up this journal as my primary memory keeping journal. I'll link that video up here in case you're interested. But let me show you one of those pages that I set up last year. Completely empty. I didn't write a single thing in here. So I still think it's really cute and it was fun to set up, but I did not use this very much. I mean, I used like the rest of the journal a bit, but like I made it maybe a quarter or a third of the way through this journal. And I just realistically, I only use it about once a month, which I want to be writing more like this was just, you know, like 
any day I would go in and just write an entry about that day or a prayer or like make a little spread about some kind of vacation or memory or something. And I like having a place to do that, but I just don't know if this is my place to do that. I'm not a huge fan of this journal. I mean, I think it's beautiful, but it's got like off-white pages. They're a little bit thinner. It's just not really what I'm used to. And I thought that that would be fun for a journal like this because then it would kind of force me to try new things. But instead, I think it's just made me not want to use it because it's not really my style. So I definitely want a place to do stuff like this, but I don't know if this is going to be my place for 2023. The thing is, I hate wasting journals. So the fact that I used like a third of this, um, I don't just want to not use the rest because I want to keep this. You know, I want to keep all the memories that I wrote about last year, but I don't want to keep a journal that's over half empty on my already packed journal shelf. Um, but I also don't want to like rip out, you know, like 50 pages or whatever it is. So I'm not really sure what to do with this, but I just thought I'd mention that anyways. And um, yeah, that's the last journal on my lineup. Of course, I do have digital journals as well. And I'll be honest, I was planning to use one of those in 2022, but I did not. I never touched it like ever, except for maybe to film a reel. So I'm not gonna try doing that this year. I've got enough going on as is. Thank you all so much for joining me to just take a look at the journal and planner lineup that I have for 2023. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more of these journals, please consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video.